Viz? What are you doing here? And how did you find me? I turned my tracker off for a reason, you know. I wish I could make you understand, but I'm not going back to fight a losing battle. I tried to make King Malik do that and look where it got him. I'm doing what my king would have done. So the others told you about me and Zero's bond, huh? Well, news flash. He's no longer with me. His presence left a while ago. Viz, look, I'm gonna make this clear for you one more time. Our king is gone. Our island is gone. I failed. And now I'm done. And if you can't take a hint through that thick helmet of yours, then maybe this will. Leave me alone or I will make sure you leave me alone permanently. And your spirit won't haunt me. <coughs> then please, just leave me alone. Welcome back, Silas. Did you find anything by that can be of use? If you're the challenge maker, fix the scans and the comms. It will be easy to find anything useful. Relax. She's just trying to make do with the technology we have in this place. The tech on this island is limited after all. Wow. Thanks for reminding me. It's not like I didn't know that. I mean, I'm the only one doing work around here. What is your brilliant boy toy side hand you've been doing all this time? Go ahead, Summit. Tell him. Tell him the greatest discovery you made today. Uh, well, my lady, I, uh, found this amazing drink called Slap Juice. It's very refreshing. If I had a buck for every time your sidekick has been useless, I'd be rich. I'm sure you tried. And after this conversation, I'll give him a complimentary butt kick, but I'm sensing some negativity with you. The only reason I am negative is because I have never seen such horrible leadership in my life. We'd be better off having a trog lead us. Goro, you've abandoned me with no excuse again. Oh, things are getting interesting. Dizzy, you're awake. L listen. You look pretty upset. Let's just talk about this like adults. Ah! Oh my goodness. Doctor, are you okay? Oh, I'm enjoying this already. Way to go, Dizzy. Glad to have you back. I have woken from my coma to realize what tragedy cost me to be in that state. You've left me once before. This time is the last time you will ever abandon anyone. You are a disgraceful person to be called a leader. Which is why it ends here. We deserve better. We deserve logical. What? Wait, Dizzy, don't, don't shoot. We, we can work something out, can we? To be honest, Dizzy, I think we should do it now, regardless of what she says. I demand one logical reason why I shouldn't end you where you stand, Kor. No, Dizzy, wait! What was that? It looked like a sword. The logic behind such technology. Apologies for interrupting your argument, but I couldn't help to notice that you were all having trouble looking for a leader. Alright pal, you're barking up the wrong tree. Just because you look expensive and powerful doesn't mean you can barge into our meeting. What do you want? Oh, <laughs> relax. There's no news for such violence. 
Listen now, you were all once part of a great order, trying to bring order to an universe, one galaxy at a time. He speaks in facts. They may seem stronger, but they are just as weak as you fall. But I can grant your strength back. Now this is a leader. <laughs> yeah, he drives a good bargain. Uh, I agree. I forgot what this guy was talking about. I have a mission, but I can't do it without faithful soldiers and experienced warfighters. You four seem to be the best I've come across. If you join me, I can grant you any desire. Well, thank you for coming to the last of I.O., my lord. We'd be proud to join your cause under the same rule as we were with you. Isn't that right, everyone? I mean, it's not a hard pick. He sounds like a true leader, and he sounds like he has a dedicated cause. You can count me in on this. As long as I can resume weapons work, then I'd be glad to attend. Wherever the doctor goes, I must go along with. Well, my lord. You have all of us as your faithful lieutenants. Wonderful. I'm grateful to have you all accompany me. Now come. We have plans to engage. Let me teach you a lesson, my child. There's a difference between being immortal and invincible. Me, being immortal, you can throw anything my way, and the pain will cease to exist. You may regenerate, but the pain is antagonizing to you. You... Uh, want to win. The planet is gone. There's nothing for you to gain from there. I've won! Oh, my sweet child. My plan is already falling into motion. You destroying that island was seen in one of my futures. You had the staff of future fortune. Why, of course. I've been alive for billions of years. Don't you think I would look for such relics? <laughs> what a pity. And I foresaw that you forgot the staff. I suppose it's still in what ruins lies of the previous planet. Well, I'll be on my way to get it then. Let's see what my future holds for me when I ask it. Mother! 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 What a dump. Let's check in with the locals, shall we? Oh, hello, stranger. How can I help you this evening? I'm looking for someone. She's a friend of mine. Her name is Sasha Singularity. She has blue armor with a black visor showing red optics. I think that's what they're called. We lost her a few weeks ago and right now we're trying to find her. Have you seen her by any chance lurking around here? Well, I'm not so much of a know-everything person about this island stuff, but I do know someone who can help you. There's this guy who left a while ago to that chili dog establishment. He has a coat with thin eyes on it. He's some kind of wizard fortune guy? I don't know. That's all I know so far. Well, that's better than nothing. If you believe that he can help me, I'll go for it. Thanks for your help, stranger.